welcome to the project demonstration of solar water purification system so generally uh, any water purifier will work based on the 230 volts ac input as we know that but now when we want to make the portable uh, water purification system and that we need to provide the battery system as the whole system run by the 24 volts dc power supply there is a booster pump which will take the water from the inlet and it will push the water throughout these candles and with, along with the uv lights and after that the water will be uh, passed out through this mineral cartridge and this is the main water collection after purification and this is the uh, water rejection once after purification was successfully done there will be some water quantity will be remains uh, which is the rejected water that will be coming out from this blue one and uh, this is the main water inlet for this purification system so here uh, this one will uh, when we are using the to, to, uh, battery then we have a chance of uh, charging for this battery so then we can use the uh, renewable sources like solar in our project we are using the solar panel there's a 24 volts 10 watts of solar panel which is easy to charge this battery so if you want to charge a battery from the solar panel just connect the s this solar panel at this slot as of now due to this low lighting on the solar panel we are getting the low intensity from this LED. This is a charging section for the battery through the uh, solar panel and uh, here when we place this solar panel under the full sunlight there will get the high intensity like we will show you that. So if there is no sunlight if you want to charge a battery so you can charge the battery with the help of this transformer which will take 230 volts AC input and provide as a 24 volts DC output which is sufficient to charge your battery. So if you want to charge a battery either transformer or solar panel the charging time is going to be the 8 hours maximum. Till the duration you should keep the battery under charge when we utilize the battery for project demonstration. So here the uh, battery ratings are 24 volts 2 amps. Here we can see that uh, totally 6 batteries this side cutted in series and this side 6 batteries are in series. In that each battery of 4 volt 1 amp. So 6 batteries is a 24 volt 1 amp and 24 volt 1 amp. These two are in parallel. So we will get 24 volts 2 amps DC output as we are using the booster pump of 24 volts DC. And here also UV lamp of 24 volts and uh, here the cartridge are like pre-filters and uh, then we can see this so it's a carbon filter and then sediment filters and uv lights and here the copper element filter and then after mineral cartridge so after these six stages we will get the pure water output so while demonstration at least one liter of water required to fill this cartridge and after that only the purification will be starts so let us see the demonstration so place that rejection water in this tank and inlet so we can write the water in and uh, this one is the water output cartridge so just keep it one and now you can on this right as air bubbles come nothing but the rejects water is coming now so let's wait for the water to be filled so air bubbles nothing but this is the main water collection you can see the water is decreasing. So we can hear the sound, the candles are getting water inside that. And uh, when's the water is. You can see that now water is coming now. Better to arrange uh, three water bottles. One is for uh, rejection water, blue one, and the water inlet and purified water output of the middle cartridge. Now let us see that. Right, you can see that. This one is the purified water along with mineral mineral minerals added. So if you want to go with the high purification, just we can tighten this. When you tighten in this, we can see the water flow will be decreased over here and rejection water will be increased so this main purpose is like TDS controller in order to make the more water purification so then the system will uh, do the recycling more and then we'll get the more rejection water and less purified water so this is main control purpose and the solenoid valve to control the water flow right we can see that the water is purification was done and the rejection water is getting filled right once uh, the project demonstration complete 
keep this in empty let's the water should be come out after this cartridge because when you switch on the uh, switch off this when you leave this pipe down then the water will be flow out so let the tanks should be this cartridge should be emptied till that keep it the motor on so now it is coming now so let this should be empty see now so little bit of water is coming wait for 10 to 15 seconds once total water is emptied in the cartridge then only you can switch off the circuit